Hey, Anthony Gutierrez again. I'm going to make a video here on the events that have already unfolded. The sad part is that the, um, the population, general population on the planet that live on the surface have been set behind in time to know what they needed to know. You know, so the events already unfold and then people are like, oh yeah, I realize that. And myself, I realized it before, but to get the information out was an impossible feat because the gods were actually um, actively blinding people even more and setting them back. A lot of people don't know, um, most experiences are felt in intensity like they are when you're a child where you have an event and it becomes a... Um, something that is like a um, the initial position for events that unfold afterwards and um, here on earth we don't have the luxury of being knowledgeable like a person here on earth will say I'm knowledgeable but they really aren't they've never been educated the population for the most part this sphere that we live in it's only been here 5,000 years for the most part. We had some other cultures 10,000 years. And there were other populations here before, but they were separated from us. You know, it wasn't a continuous affair where you have 100,000 or 400,000 or even more than that of um, continuous Terrans being taught. And the gods are the one who taught us, so therefore we know that they're the ones who blocked us out from knowledge. And I'll make the reference again. We're so stupid, we really believe that the globe was flat. Even in the time of Plato, everyone didn't understand that the, they would kill you if you said it was round. And that's because we have no galactic heritage. We've never been taught of anything off, off of the planet. Most people today don't even believe in aliens. It's a ridiculous thing. And um, so we're going to talk a little bit about responsibility and who is actually who who actually participated in your downfall so we have many affairs here such as people would want to blame me because I couldn't get this info out fast enough or say I held people back and those are the gods who make that up because they always they want everybody to be held under fear and tyranny that oh everybody's gonna blame me and want to kill kill me or kill another and, you know, the U.S. government has been participating in this affair and living in a life of, um, as far as for a, a person on this planet could be, or a being. And we're not talking about gods again, because that's going to be another video when I say persons and beings. But the U.S. government and all those people, they live they live in luxury. They have money. They have this and that. They're not living four people in one house and only one person works. You know, the numbers are all twisted in all parts of the world. They even tell us our water's dirty and contaminated, and it affects your mind. You know, the mind is a very powerful tool. And when there's lies and you can't get the truth and the system's not working together, then you have problems. You know, we all we all just believe, because everyone bought it, that ticket where we're shit. And if you think you have it, ask yourself quietly by yourself and you'll see that it's true. So the U.S. government... United States, United Nations, and the aliens all lie. They all have a big lie to keep you subjugated. And the aliens say it's because they're, they have to push us down in our vessel into a sub, subliminal state where we can't think so they could completely take over our body and rule us so that they could use that energy field to spread it. Because they put their energy and project it into us, their very selves, and none of us exist. That's why they've kept us so dumb so that they could fight their enemy, the Draconians. But that wasn't the only route they could have took. That's just the one they chose, and that becomes a command, and that becomes final. And we can't fight them physically with our fist. If you fight them with your mind, you're going to get beat up. But you could still say, hey, I'm not just taking an ass whooping, I'm fighting back. No one just, you know, when, when the cops come for you, they have guns. They don't just ask you to get in the van. They, ask, they have guns because if they don't, we're going to resist. So if you had knowledge, you would have resisted. So the gods have purposely altered reality and even given you less than that your potential. 
that's like starving out a star or a galaxy. It's not right, but they somehow feel that they had the right to. And I think they're just trying to play it out through time that they're going to eventually give us knowledge and somehow that the population, I, don't, I have no clue. Maybe they think they'll we'll forgive them or they can deal with our, our not liking them. But we should always remember they're cowards. You know, in, in the general sense, it's not efficient. It wasn't evasive. It was just a cowardly move to try to get over the Draconians. And Draconians did a good job. They were the evil ones. And most people on Earth would say, Oh no, I want gods to be good and bad. Well, that's not the truth. The truth is the Draconians were always the ones who, who spread that little evil seed in our minds. And that's what they're supposed to do. That's actually a natural thing for Terrans. And they actually do that to the gods too. You know, if the gods, like right now, the gods are overpowering them by cheating and using physical vessels to put their energy into. And that's kind of a perverted manipulation. You know, that you could, and this all goes back to the avians. You know, there's a whole galactic history and story of war and these events. And some of it takes a lot of knowledge and personal understanding before you could even solve it or get a, a grasp the picture you know, a lot of people, they just have to go on faith that, you know, um, the avians were the ones who d not designed us, but who figured out that it was possible to create a, a sentient being on the lowest form that only lives 120 years. And that's a crime in itself to create something that small and not give it total love and nourishment or total possibilities because we're at the mercy of those higher beings in that sense and for them to abuse us is something to be to strike out against because they're not doing us right so if i have to be the voice for that i'll choose to do so because i get tortured every day by these beings and you know they control your mind to the point that you don't know what you were who you are what you're supposed to be and they only they run into your body and, and into your mind and there they'll be like more than one god creating and and they're in everybody's minds in fact just creating dialogues and situations and feelings and fear that drive you in certain situations that's why we do nonsense old things and that covers the fear tactic and these false flags which the governments have the united states government World governments, Russia, China, Japan, all of them have participated in some form in creating false flags and have been capitalizing off of technology and they have hidden actual physical technology and technology of the mind and of the galaxy and that's kind of a perversion just to fucking collect that stuff and do what they're doing. People aren't supposed to die on the earth. You know, we don't understand this, that we're dual beings and you have a material body that we live in. But there's also an energy body you're supposed to have begin nourishing from the beginning of your birth to the end of life, which gods were supposed to be responsible for. But they actually neglected that. And right now we have 9 billion people on the planet, so that will be at least minimally 9 billion people that die. And they say there's a, a reincarnation theme that you could be a part of your consci consciousness will go into another being after you die. <coughs> But you're still going to die physically. And when you get into this other vessel, it's only going to be like a um, small memory because the other being will be fed more than you. So the other being will be the one that takes over whoever it is that's born. And it will be the gods ruling that mind too. So they wouldn't do this to themselves, but they do it to us. And therefore you can see the crime. The crime is manipulating the lower being below you, which they say they... Um, they have an affinity for, but they didn't put themselves on the front line to die. You know, the the real front line is not the war but with the Draconians and with the, with the uh, gods. The real war is that they've used us for a shield, and a shield that's going to be destroyed. You know, it's like a barrier. They don't care how many people in the barrier die. They'll even sacrifice. If the Draconians decided to strike and kill everybody at once, we would die ungratefully. I mean... If you're going to die, everyone dies sooner or later, even if you live in a light body, you know, for 120,000 years or whatever it may be and become something beyond a, um, what you thought you were here on Earth. 
it would be a, a crime. You know, you have to always, even if you do get to live, you can't sneak away. You got to be accountable for your life and your death. You know, you have to know you're going to die and not, oh, I'm going to sneak away and take this chance. That doesn't happen in the universe. And the, the uh, gods have purposely changed the numbers to always make you think you're one behind or one ahead. You know, you're never even. And even is a very good thing to have. And we just don't get that. They they lied to us. They didn't tell us the earth. They didn't tell us about the galaxy. They didn't reveal their presence. And even when they do, it's in such a small way like religion, really. Religion don't tell you about the galaxy. Religion isn't broad enough to do so. It only tells you about God's lowest rules, you know. And that's just what he wants for himself. I mean, he even gets half of what you make. comes back to him in the form of energy or territory. Because the Draconians and the um, gods fight over territory in the world. So this video has kind of gotten off topic from what I wanted to be. But those were things I did want to cover sooner or later. So we also have here uh, government officials eat clean food, drink clean water, no smog. They have all the devices, all the technology, it's all hidden, you're all lied to, I'm lied to. Most of the time I, I don't even consider all these things because I just get so pissed off that they've done this, you know. And there's other themes you could understand which is fixated or unaffixated, which means that they chop our lives up like you'll have a good moment while you're doing something, but it was God stealing it from you. You don't even get to really fully experience it and then the next moment you have no sequence. There's no timing, there's no well timing, no sequence. It's all chopped and blocked and it's just very disgusting if you have ever felt the proper way things happen compared to this. You know, you got clones, drones, and Hollywood. If you want to be mad at somebody and that's a person, be mad at those Hollywood people because they all look down on us and their minds are all connected and our minds are all connected in a crystalline field. You know, they purposely put us there. We don't have the knowledge or power to but the gods do and they put us into an energy vessel or into their vessel and probably into a computer type crystal vessel or whatever it is and you know the people people on TV they imitate us and they steal from the streets and then they make it something that gets used up in one day you know fads are supposed to last a, a while and we create a cool fad on the street and it gets sucked up by Hollywood and put on the E channel and these fucking cheap models use it up and are these just stupid Kardashian people who are like puppets like Kardashians they don't even move man they don't even move Kim's fat ass is fake her face is fake all her relationships are fake they act oh she's so in love with Kanye she had three husbands before that and she made porno she's not a lover she's not a lover in that sense like she's she's portraying an image that's false and we all know that she has two images and they're both false. So don't buy everything we see anymore. You know what I mean? Like if you want to abandon Pepsi, abandon Pepsi. Abandon Coke, start drinking Shasta. You know, drink RC Cola. Drink the cheap shit. Let's run these fools out of business. You know, even those companies are owned by them. But if you take away from their product name, then you're taking away something valuable to them. It's a logo. You know, you affiliate things with logos and signs. Let's take that away. Take it away from all of them. You know, we're supposed to be proud of what we are and, and know who we are as beings. And we all hate each other and despise each other most of the time. And look down on each other and, and have all kinds of shit we say about our neighbors in our head. Like, oh, that guy thinks he's so cool. Oh, he, he thinks he's so cool. He don't have more than me. We all, we all have the same. Well, that's still talking about people. And that's not a good thing. Like, even now, I'm talking about us so we could see it. You know, because nobody realizes that those are voices inside of your head and thoughts you have. Okay, this video is almost over, but I wanted to see if I could cover one more thing here. Got mass overflux. Yep, 9 billion people on this earth is overpopulation. The aliens blew up the population on purpose so no one could have enough. If you have a boat that only fits 25 people and you try to fit 52 in there, your boat's going to sink. Everybody's going to die. That's a mass death. You know? So between nature, settings, and modern. Oh, okay. That's kind of a different topic. I'll get to that one later. But 
it's a, we're, we're in a new setting you know in a modern setting you're supposed to be able to take care of yourself properly and accommodate the people and we haven't caught up from being back in the wild the times have barely changed you know you have to count like four or five hundred years for a change so peace out everybody